Hi guys, welcome back again to my kitchen. It is Sunday morning. I'm gonna make up some fried dumpling. I have a fried dumpling recipe up from like two years ago. I'm gonna do an updated one. Fried dumpling you can do just about anyway. Some people call it Johnny Cake, me call it Jamaican fried dumpling. So if you want to see how me put someone in my kitchen, Sunday morning, don't eat to do some color though. Come on, let's ride this one with me now. <music> Let's talk about the ingredients and what you're going to need to make up this fried dumpling recipe. Right here I have some milk. You could use whatever kind of milk you want to use. Now if you don't want to use milk, now use milk. Use water if you so please. But in a, my kitchen, capital my, a milk me use when I make my fried dumpling because I want to have that sibap taste. Now I'm going to use all-purpose flour right now. So that is two cups of all-purpose flour. Now if you're going to use self-rising flour, skip the baking powder or else you're going to have fluffy pancake fried dumpling. Two teaspoons of butter or margarine. One teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Come on and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and add my two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add my butter, my baking powder, and my salt. And guys, I'm going to put all the ingredients down below, so I'm not panic about that. Now, with clean hands, guys, clean hands, clean finger. I mean, I want to fry up dumpling with dirty fingernail and dirty hand. Make sure, say, your hands are totally clean when you are fried dumpling or in your kitchen, period. So, all I'm doing here is taking my hand and just crush up that butter in there until they come nice and flaky. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up in the middle right there. And pour my milk into the middle uh, in the center and just mix it together now that we get my dough looking like that I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my clean surface there I'm gonna want to knead it real good so the dough becomes me and the dough become one so that looks pretty good nice and smooth just the way I want it I'm going to get my plastic wrap. And I'm just going to put it in my plastic wrap. I'm going to make this sit for about a half an hour. And then I'm going to come back after a half an hour. And we're going to get this thing going. Alright, so I'm going to run the fry it right away as you need it. So let it sit for half an hour and we move on to our next step. Okay guys, I'm moving on to my next step. Now I have my plate here and I also have my dough which has been sitting for exactly 30 minutes. Even though it's Sunday I'm hungry, I have to make my dough sit because I want to have the perfect fried on plate. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my, my dough out of my plastic wrap and put it on my clean surface. Now as you can see my dough is just the way I want it. Nice and stretchable. So, I'm going to make my dumplings now. And there's a way that I'm going to show you guys how to make this fried dumpling. Nice and pretty, so everybody can eat. Alright? So, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and pinch just a little piece off of it. Like, like this amount. Alright? You pinch it off. Just like you're making spinners. And it becomes this length, like a donut. You go ahead, you fold it like that. Just like that. Okay, guys, we are moving on to the next step. I have my pot on the fire. I have my cooking oil in my pot. Make sure you say put enough oil in the pot. You don't want to put a little bit of oil and the thing not come out right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put my dumplings in. And my fry on medium heat for about four minutes on that side. 
I'm going to turn them over on the other side and I should have some beautiful dumplings. So when I come back, I'm going to show you the color, that nice golden brown pretty color I wanted for up. And then we'll get ready to eat. See you back. Okay, guys, so that's the color. It's all that pretty. A nice golden brown. Not bun up brown, you know. Golden brown. See that? Perfect. That is the color that I want my dumplings to have. Nice golden brown. Right there. Okay, guys, so my dumpling is finished. Right there. Jamaican fried dumpling in my kitchen. So good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Nice, easy, and simple. I'm going to eat this up with some kalalo and okra. So I'm going to show you a complete dish at the end of this. All right. So see ya back. So here is the finishing. And that is what I'm going to be having with that fried dumpling. Kalalo and okra. You can't even have kalalo and sawfish. Whatever you want to put in it. But that is what is going to be in my kitchen today. Sunday. So I hope you like it. Guys. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share, share, share. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy. I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.